morning guys, it is Tuesday morning here and I am 20 minutes away from getting on a phone call with Panasonic and the rest of the day I'm going to spend some time uh, looking for non-copyrighted music. The best way for me to do that is go through SoundCloud and actually contact the artist and ask for permission and most of the time, 99% of the time they say yes, but as you can imagine it takes a bit of time. So. That's what I'll be doing today. Yesterday I showed you guys that I had knocked on the door of Monster Cat, a big music EDM company. And basically, like I said, it could not have gone any better from being a spontaneous little ring of their doorbell to all of a sudden being invited into their place, being shown their workplace, introduced to their staff, and without any questions asked other than them taking a look at my YouTube page, they whitelisted me. And so whitelisted basically means that I can now use any Monster Cat music in my YouTube videos and still monetizes them. And you can actually check out their YouTube page, it has 4.3 million subscribers and they post all sorts of different kinds of music. Uh, what I'm pretty excited about is like their chilled out beats. But this is the coolest part, is they invited me to this and now I have full access to their entire music library and I can select what form I want to download it in. Thank you Monster Cat. Just got off the phone with Panasonic and also right after that I had a phone call with the YouTube management agency and both calls went really really well. I think there's a very very good likelihood I'll be working with Panasonic and I am very excited about that. So I'll let you guys know a little bit more by the end of the week. That's when she said she will confirm the status on my GH4. So really excited. What I'm going to do today is, I've already switched over to my new Snapchat, which if you haven't added it, make sure to add it, it's Lost LeBlanc. But on my old Snapchat, I put it back to private so that people can't just send me Snapchats, otherwise I'd get too many notifications. But later today, I'm going to open up all those old Snapchats that haven't been let through, and I'll go and do some Q&As, because I assume there'll be a few questions in there, and if there's no questions, then just going to get awkward. Christian? Grandma! Anybody wants to come for it, I'm going to need a man here. I don't want anybody coming. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So if they buy the couch, do you come with it? <laughs> Heavens, no. <laughs> What's on your feet? <laughs> it opens from this way, this way. Oh, yeah. So this is my grandma's car. <laughs> Just got home from lunch with my grandma. She took me to a little diner. It was fun and good to see her. I'm just gonna go back to doing work on my computer like a boring person. I'll be here. It is a storm outside. Time to edit today's vlog. So it is 3.30 right now and I'll let you know when I finish. I literally just set a record. I edited a vlog in under 30 minutes. Pretty much 25 minutes. That's pretty much unheard of. Normally it probably takes me a minimum of an hour, upwards of two hours, depending on what the content was. Um, but the day I'm editing for was kind of a shorter day, not a ton of vlog footage. Anytime I want to do time lapses or cut things into a certain order, it obviously takes a lot more time. Two videos ago, I talked about how I quit my corporate job to pursue my passion and it's been the best decision I've ever made. The reason I bring this up is that I had a couple people in the comments asking me about travel vlogging and they mentioned the idea of leaving their job to do travel vlogging. The first thing that I want to say about it is it's super fun, I absolutely love it, but that's why I started it. It's a hobby. It really is. It has to be a hobby and the second you make it a profession, it's not going to work out because if you start it with the intention of making money, of being famous, it's not going to go well because you'll put way too much pressure on yourself and the results do not come quickly. What I'm trying to tell people when I talk about leaving my job and encouraging other people to follow their passions, I'm not saying that everyone should go quit their jobs to become a travel vlogger. I'm saying that people should find the things that they really like and that they would do regardless of money or fame or anything that comes with it. Because when you do something you like and you do it for a long time, good things happen. I am learning the ways of the Photoshop. I would call myself like an intermediate, but by no means an expert, so YouTube for everything. Well, our two weeks have come to an end. It's time to say goodbye to the Sony camera. That's uh, not how the box shuts, but for dramatic effect. Goodbye, camera. Goodbye. See? This is the open box price. Goodbye. Okay, so I just returned my camera, and there's like three cop cars and people being asked questions. 
Asked the employees what happened, but no one was telling me. They pretended they don't know. I'm gonna assume something got stolen, but. One of the ladies I walked by said something about he already has a skull fracture, so I don't know who she was talking about, but maybe there's a fight in there, I don't know. Anyways, um, I'm going to the gym now. I'm going to pick up Laura. My battery is seconds away from dying here. I thought I charged it just an hour and a half ago, but I guess it didn't plug in. I'll see you guys later if my camera dies, but otherwise, let's go get Laura. Why do you need my vlog camera? Do you have it? I don't have a memory card though. I need your battery, not your camera. Oh. You've been pulled into the trip. <laughs> I have. Come on. Fell for the trip. I now introduce to you the second ever Snapchat Q&A with Laura Reed. What? So I opened up my old Snapchat account. By the way, don't use this one anymore. My new one's Lost LeBlanc. But let's open up my old Snapchats. Murphy. <sighs> Face swap is gross. Oh okay. my God. No sound. I think people would probably see sound. Dude is getting his sleeve started today. Good for you. That's sweet. It's the kind of girl that would like massage your feet after a hike. No! 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 no, no let me drink about the beer! What is this? I'm just... New Snapchat. Ooh. Very nice. Thank you, Gabmore. Valentin Henning. Congrats. For you, 20k. Oh, thank you. Look at that, 20k. Thanks, guys. Gee whiz. Treating myself to a little holiday. Dublin. Oh, Dublin, Dubai. Very cool. Nice. More to go. Well, good luck with that. Some crepes or something. That's cool. The Snapchat q and has not been Q&A, but that's okay, we're enjoying it. That looks like El Nido. How Nido. Denise, okay, 6.30, good luck, Denise. It's a tough time. Working over a pint, yep, sometimes it helps. Invisible pug. Oh, you look pretty visible to me. Casey, Paul, let's see what Paul has. Casey. Heidi lost her flip. Oh, good luck, Heidi. Yeah, I know. I get that feeling, too. Okay, Paul. The bus is for peasants. <laughs> yeah, Lauren. Night train. Major key. <laughs> Major key. <laughs> Heidi. I actually know who Heidi is. No trust me. Oh, is that the ghost tower? No, the ghost tower is closed off, but I think you can get through anyways, but Jordan Bell. Hey mate, love your videos. Thanks, Jordan Bell. Can't our adventure start tomorrow, two days in Valentine? Yeah. Can't, oh, can't sleep. Good luck with your chemistry. And the last of the Snapchat Q&A with no questions, Adrian. Hey Christian, I just wanted to ask you if you want to go and visit Arabic countries like Oman, Jordania, or Yemen, or something. I think he asked if I'm going to Yemen. If you Yemen. want to go visit, no, other countries like Yemen. Yeah, maybe one day. Definitely not in the next year, but maybe soon. Maybe in the next two years. We'll see. All right, guys, if you want to send random snaps, I'm always open to it. Send them to Los LeBlanc. They won't always be received at first because they might I, get lost. <laughs> they might get lost. I only open my, my Snapchat once in a while, otherwise I'll get too many notifications, but I get them all once I do open my Snapchat to public. So send them to Los LeBlanc and they won't get Hopefully lost. Hopefully we get them. <laughs> We're going into the gym now and yeah.